So, look at these tools you have in this room. So, can you share with me a little bit if there's some tool that you use more often than others? And is, do you have a favorite tool that you like to use? Um, well, the, <laughs> the very first thing that I do, I guess, well, well my eyes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, so that's, I mean, that's what it's about. I mean, so when I look at something, I try to assess what the, what the condition is. Um, and that, I mean, that's the very first thing that you do when you're deciding whether you need to treat something or whether it's okay to go out as it is. Um, so I look at this, I immediately see there's, there's in painting that needs to be adjusted. I, I find the, the varnish that the person applied to be um, not so, it's too glossy. Um, it's, it, it doesn't have a nice, a nice feel to it. Um, so I know these are things that I think should be changed before this piece goes on view. Um, so okay. then, then... Can you show us an example of like some, what you might do? Um, like well, right, so then, right. So then the next step would be to determine, is it dirty? Um, and uh, oh, <laughs> for that we actually yeah. use saliva. So, right. And then, and then, you know, I can, I can, so, I mean, this, this piece is, is not, it's not very dirty. It, I mean, I don't see a lot of dirt that comes up, um, but that would be. Can you talk uh, about why you use saliva to? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that seems so, I'm kind of blown away by that. Yeah. Um, well, it, it's a very effective but very mild cleaning agent. Um, so it it's, has the advantage over regular water in that it's, it's slightly warm from your body. It has uh, enzymes and, and chelating agents and other, and other things in it that help your body break down the food you put in your mouth. Those same, same things help break down the oil and grease and other things that may have deposited on the surface of the painting. So it's, it's, it's slightly more effective than just using plain water. So it's a, it's a good initial, it's easy we carry it with us. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, oh, so, uh, um, so well, something that would help me determine how extensive the in-painting is. Um, when we in-paint, we use, we don't use oil paint. We use very specific, uh, specific paints that are made for conservation and they have a different um, fluorescent in, in ultraviolet. So um, I have something like this is a small handheld uh, light that shows ultraviolet. Um, I will just, I'll turn off the overhead light so we can see it, but I'll sh I can mm -hmm. show. I think that should be enough, you'll be able to see. So, yeah, so see that, that area has a very different fluorescence in, in, this, in this particular light. Mm -hmm. So I can, I can know exactly what I'm getting into if I, if I decide to take off the varnish and take off the in-painting. I, I have an idea of how much I have to put back. <laughs> um, and this, this one has a little bit more even, um, you can see in the sky. So there's, so. so again, another, when I'm first examining, before I start determining a course of treatment, this would be something that I would look with. 